hey, let me wear that ring. Like, probably like next week. Just next, <laughs> I mean, like next week, I'm, you know, I got this date. I got you. Yeah, I want to wear that. That's I want to wear it to the concert. Then you want to wear it at the Howard West was what concert, nigga? I got a purple and gold leather tuxedo. That motherfucker hard, man. Like they put it as leather, nigga. Leather. Well, you got to have a whistle, too, because you can be official like a referee that with a whistle. If you don't know, you won't know. You inside the GGN with your host with the most, Finding Nemo, a.k.a. Nemo Hoes. And today I got a real, real special guest on my show. Yeah, it's the one and only <laughs> Slink, a.k.a. Black Jesus. What's happening, y'all? So how does it feel to have the whole world in the palm of your hand on Thursday nights? Man, that's big. It's humbling, man. I still get goosebumps thinking about it, man. It's, it's just amazing, man. I thank everybody out there for the support, man. This is crazy. Tell people how long you've been doing this or how long you've been associated with the game in general. I've been going hard for a long time. First of all, I like I've been acting a fool all my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But once I picked up the pen and, and wanted to get get in front of the microphone or behind the microphone, you know, I, I like I got one line in one of my raps. I say I started back in '86. Been going hard since '94. I started writing raps in '86 and '94. After I had got out of YA, that's when I figured like, yo, this is what I want to do. I want to mm -hmm. be a rapper. So it's, what's this, 2014? That's 20 years from the time, mm. you know, want to be serious and in, in, in the game, in entertainment in some form or fashion. It's definitely a blessing. It's humbling. You know what I'm saying? To be presented with that opportunity, man, brothers out here hungry, man. Mm -hmm. Like for real. Like really waiting for two o'clock to get that Taco Bell uh, lunch mm -hmm. menu deal. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That 99 cent burrito or something. You know what I'm saying? If you can get that piecing up on that $5 sack. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's real spit. That's called blood. So speaking of that, Black Jesus, how does it feel being that character on TV? Because like, for many years in the community that we come from, it was always a myth that Jesus was black. And the way you betraying him is showing that he is black. Man, it's just, it's just dope. Or I should say I appreciate people being able to identify that, and that's dope, and then see that in me. And it's amazing and, hum and, and a humbling experience, Snoop, to play Jesus mm. out of anybody else. That's what's so fucking crazy. They love you because it's a new world we live in right now. Like, black is cool. We're more accepted now. The generation that we come from is the late 60s, early 70s. Mm -hmm. Those people that are watching this are 40, 41, 42 that are in office, that can change laws, mm -hmm. that can fix rules and regulations, that grew up off this shit. When they watch the show and they tune in, they listen to the music, they influenced by it. And they like, you know what? Mm -hmm. Hey, he's right. We should legalize marijuana. Yeah, we should. We should do this. And we should do this. Tonight. And that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. The demographic uh, that, that supports Black Jesus, man, is, is, is off the board, man. We got all kinds of people. Look here, bro, I was in food for less spending my $92 worth of EBT. And uh, this old lady walked up on me, and she was like, is you Black Jesus? I mean, man, she had to be about 65, 70, you know? <laughs> and I was like, fucked up, dog. I'm like, damn, I know she was for the lay into me. You know, she probably from Mississippi. Mm -hmm. She mad, but she was like, baby, I love that. You keep doing what you're doing. You know, and you're speaking the truth, you know, and if you get a little something, let me hear something. And I was like, shit, I was with that, man. Yeah, for She real, was cool. Right? She had a little ass on her, too. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying, she would have took care of her face a little bit better. She probably party hard in the 60s, my nigga. That wasn't cool. Look here, man. Y'all got to watch this. Y'all got to support this movement. Black Jesus on Adult Swim, you know, hashtag, tweet, Instagram, speak on Black Jesus. Tell Adult Swim. Tell the people out there how much you love Black Jesus, man. Let's get this moving, man, because not just for me, but this is a great thing. I think it's bringing people together. You know, I, I, it's a bigger vision for it. You know what I mean? I really want to bring people together. And on top of that, my body ain't what it used to be, so I can't strip no more. So I kind of like, you know, I need you to, you know, watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? I know you don't want me robbing no more. All in your car. I really don't want to do it either, because nigga too old. Nigga be tired. I can't run. Fuck it. Can you sign that for me? Oh, Black yeah. Jesus sign it to Snoop from Black Jesus. I'm showing the fuck is. You Tell see it. this? I'm all here with the dog. Look, Baba, it's Snoop. Black Jesus. <laughs> it's Snoop. Wow. <laughs> Gotta play some gospel for Black <laughs> Jesus. Tell us about your character in uh, Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto came through 
my association with Aaron Magruder and DJ Pooh. Mm -hmm. DJ Pooh called me up one day and asked me to come down to read for a part for um, a, a, a project. And I went down and read for it, and I ran into Solo up there. Okay, Solo from Watch. Yeah, Solo from Watch, my man Solo. We went, uh, we went up there, and we, I was reading the part with him. And uh, man, when we walked out, I had already knew what it was. Pooh couldn't tell us, but you know, looking at the project, I knew what it was. Now, when we was walking out, I told Solo, man, we got this, man. I claim this, we got this. And lo and behold, came Lamar. I played the character Lamar Davis. Uh, he was a straight up knucklehead. He was the one homie who just, you know, who mine is in the hood, who mine whenever leave. You got different kinds of homies. You know, you got homies that will leave their hood, they'll take their body out, but they, they mine is still there. That's Lamar. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You got some brothers that can get out and take their mind out also. You know, with Lamar, his mind is stuck in the hood and he didn't want to leave the hood. And he's just um, a hilarious idiot, don't know no better. You know what I'm saying? Lamar just straight guns and nuts. Fuck it. Love it, you know what I'm saying? So that was like, you knew that. Like one thing about magic, when magic is in the room, you know it, you could feel it. Like mm -hmm. you knew once you and Solo did that, you were like, you know what? These niggas ain't got to audition. Nobody else, we just killed man, this shit. Man, you already know that. That's how it was. It's like, they can identify with Lamar in so many ways, man. I knew so many Lamars, they ain't yeah. necessarily got to be me. Yeah. But I knew so many Lamars, and these was idiots that would set it off anywhere. Yeah. I mean, Cole, Nuts, but at the same time, you know, these dudes is human. They your brothers. They That's your real. cousins. They your, you know, they your nephews. That's they your real. homeboys. That's they hard. real niggas. You love these niggas. They like cookies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Niggas. That reminds me of when I played uh, Rodney and Baby Boy. Mm -hmm. Like motherfuckers thought that that was really me. Like, you know, like I'm like, nah, man. I'm just playing a character. Somebody that I know. That's like that. He's a good nigga, but that's just what he do. That's how he is. Niggas was like, man, I don't want you around my kids. Some of the bitches was like, I can't have you around my kids. I'm like, bitch, that's not really me. I'm like, but you that, that, that's a testament to your acting skills. That's a testament to your your your, your being able to, mm -hmm. to 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 convey or project that character. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? When a muff, when you don't like a motherfucker, because I didn't like your ass either. I didn't like Rodney <laughs> ass either. Well, I'm watching this old bitch ass nigga. Jody, stop that nigga, cuz. Cuando salen afuera, traten de estar segura que su pelo Su extensión no se caigan. Amárrensela bien aquí así para que no se ensucien con el sudor. Okay? Gracias. You look so fabulous right now. Thank you. You know what? You look priceless right now. And I just want to come in here and help you tell the weather what the weather is. I'm in the crowd, but I always stand out like black sheep. Original that shooting with red lights, but I'm prepared for life. I bring a fist to a gunfight. Prepare for life since birth, I've been earning stripes. Cut the grass, cause the snakes is low. I know that's why I'm low. Key, these niggas acting like they know me. These bitches acting like they know me. I'm low key, I'm low key. You got any uh upcoming projects coming up? Yeah, I got an indie movie coming out called uh, After I'm Gone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got a um, few projects in development, a few sitcoms in development. One of them being um, Community Service is a real funny YouTube sketch I'm doing right now. Look up Slink Johnson, Community Service on YouTube. Mm. You know, and check it out, man. Check Love the that. G Code and check out the G Code videos. G Code, check your nuts on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Slink Johnson, the most ignorant man alive. Come over there and take a shit in your house. I love you, though. <laughs> you funky bitch, you. For motherfuckers that come from the hood, you know, like we come from, and for us to make it out and give them a different avenue to where we still keeping it hood and still staying who we are is a beautiful feeling as well because now you aspiring, you know, a hundred thousand other little homies Amen. to want to do what we doing without even trying the other route, you know, because they may not be strong enough to get out that route because we went through a lot of obstacles and hurdles that we somehow, some way, was blessed enough to make it through, but a lot of our homies didn't make it through. Amen. So we don't want to see them go through that. They can play characters. They can create. They can create things that are real, yeah. that Anything. represent the whole world. Anything. Them dudes, they gonna bump their head, but let's just hope they retain as much of this information mm. as possible. Retain it and utilize it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? As much mm -hmm. of it as possible and you won't bump your head as much. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never been no kingpin, I've never been no no super criminal. I know I've been a dumbass criminal and everything I put my hands into, I got caught mm -hmm. doing, you know what I'm saying? So I had to figure out some kind of way, what can I do? What can I do? 
You know what I'm saying? So I just I just stuck to what I knew how to do. Talk shit, clown, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And be myself and enjoy myself around people, you know what I mean? And, and that will that and that would, you know, that would transfer into something else and it will manifest itself and here we are. You know, I tell this to my own children, man, you can do whatever you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you, don't let your environment define you, don't let it dictate your moves. You can do whatever you want to do. It's about discipline, self-control, dedication, and you're going to get your bread, nigga. You can't you get your get bread, it. man. You get, get your it. bread and be able to enjoy your wine and crackers and cheese. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Which, Productively. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're trying to help you avoid those obstacles and hurdles that we went through. Mm -hmm. Not that we know it all, but we know a little bit. So listen to this little bit, because it can save you a whole lot. Yeah, don't mix that New Amsterdam and that Covassier, man, and then go in there with no rubbers. Because <laughs> you're going to be fucked up, my nigga. In a real way. Yeah. So, Slink, we inside the Smoker Studio. Everyday people, a.k.a. real nigga shit, I'm going to ask you a few questions that you can answer to the best of your ability. Shoot that shit, Snoop. What's the first thing you do or think of when you wake up? Oh, man, shit, well, I'm going to give me some more money. Hot or cold? Hot. Black or white? Black. Favorite drink? Water. Favorite sports team? Titans. Megan Good or Taraji P. Henson? Mm. Megan. Megan Good. Weekends or weekdays? Weekdays. Chevrolet or Cadillac? Chevrolet. Ass or titties? Titties. If you were stuck on an island for a whole year and could only listen to three albums, what would they be? Doggy style, too hard to swallow. Uh, life is too short. Mm. This is the part of the show called Finish the Sentence. I'm going to start it, you finish it. Run it. If I could work with anybody, dead or alive, I'd want to work with. Who would I want to work with, dead or alive? Robin Harris. If I could see anybody perform dead or alive, I'd want to see. Uh, Mike Jack, I never saw him perform. I look for blank in a woman. I look for sincerity in a woman. My name is Slink, and I'm a hell of an actor. And if I wasn't, I'd be a... I'd be a chef cooking you some good ass shit for your mouth, because I won't sit for your mouth. Mm-hmm. that mouth do? My favorite position is? From the back. I don't want to look at your face. My name is Slink, and I'm a... I'm a great guy. You need to get to know me. Follow me on Instagram and all your social networks at Slink Johnson and watch Black Jesus Thursday nights at 11 p.m. on Adult Swim. That nigga went to his white voice on your motherfucking... <laughs> Church. Preach. Tabernacle.